the parental controls for mail and iChat are specified here. You can limit either one so that you only, this is a whitelist, it's not a blacklist. You can only allow email and instant messaging with certain addresses. And you add them here with the names and the accounts for email and the instant messaging system. You could also limit iChat in the same way that you do it with mail. If you want to enable permissions, then you can put in your your email address, say jfiler at mac.com and then the user can request permission from you to go to a certain to have chat instant messaging or email with another user so that's the way in which you can control mail and iChat but that's not sufficient that just says who it is the other side of controls are time limits for use you can say these this is bedtime on school nights and weekends and you can say that the computer use should be limited to a certain number of hours a day on weekends and on weekdays. And this together, all of these settings let you control how the finder looks, the applications that are available, the content that is seen, who the people chat with and email with, and how long they can use the computer. This gives you about as much control as is reasonable using today's technology. And then the last thing you can do is you can look at logs to see what has been going on. So you can monitor how effective the controls are. And it may turn out that you see that you will probably find out soon enough if you've blocked something that is needed for school. But it may be that you are more worried than you need to be about certain things. And maybe as you look at the logs of the websites visited, maybe you'll realize you are not quite as concerned as you should be about certain things. Maybe you're worried about adult-oriented sites when you should be worried about gambling sites. It's, it's a vicious world out there, and we can't control it, but we can manage it as best as possible, and Mac OS X Leopard gives us as many tools as possible. And I would like to point out that, as I've said, it's not just parental controls. If you are running a business, if you are running a library or a place where there should be public access, filtering of the internet is a very hot topic. But if you are running a business, you are absolutely within your rights to say that on company time, you do or do not want your employees to visit certain types of sites and certain specific sites. So blocking them for employees, it's a very different thing than it is in a public place or in a family. So you've got the tools, and particularly when they they're used in conjunction with logs so that you can see what's going on. You can adjust the access available over the computer.